Hello and welcome to the 31st part of Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition Blind Playthrough. In the last episode we entered the Prosperity Tower and kind of we kind of messed up so we had to fight through all these floors against the security of Tsang Corporation. But today we are finally at the place where our father is and we will try to save him from assist so let's go and continue assist the elevator codes acquired you head into the enclosed space, watching the sailing access panel closely as you make your way to lab 12. Light elevator music contrasts sharply with the smell of sweat and cordite. As lights on the elevator hit 12, you cover the door and wait. Let's continue. The security captain studies, studies his fingernails, cuticles with quite intensity. He looks already to drone out a standard challenge, but stops when he sees your maintenance uniform. He raises his weapon. Okay, hold on. You should know that maintenance is not allowed to be in here without an Omega level escort. You have two seconds to produce an Omega level ID before I open fire. Hey, no need for this to get bloody. Bring him down. Okay. Still to options for marking the target. Mm. Not good enough. Just six. Ooh, ooh. forgot to move him a little bit. Only five. Three. Eleven.
Oh, here, Link. Well. And director, this should be fine. I loved it. Augmentation or cyber, whatever. Uh -huh. At least now you are asleep, and we have. This card. The door console features only a slot for a key card. Use the access card. Lab 12 smells of shiny new computer equipment and the entire room hums with quiet efficiency. Monitors ping occasionally, broadcasting quiet alerts. The whole environment breathes high-tech serenity. The centerpiece of the scene is a cockpit-like capsule containing the unconscious form of Raymond Black, reclining peacefully on what looks to be some sort of surgical couch. Wires run from myriad assist devices to the back of his head. He takes uh, in the scene. This is the largest array of assist equipment I have ever witnessed. It's quite impressive. Duncan's eyes are fixed on Raymond's unmoving body. His voice lowers to a whisper. Holy shit, Raymond. Uh, find a way to open that thing. Now. All at once, alarm collections begin to blare. The door that you entered through sides shut, and you can hear the latching mechanism engage. It's locked tight. The pounding sound of heavy footsteps resonates from the other side. Bodies approaching and moving at a rapid clip. Whatever we are gonna do, we are better do it fast. We are about to have a company. Okay. Let's pick up. Okay, manage. Let's put it into her inventory. Okay, so let's assist machine access assist machine con console. Scrolling through the reams of information on display, you eventually find step-by-step -step instruction for disconnecting a subject from the machine while it's in a state of operation. The instructions do not work. Promising. It's hopeless, my friend. We cannot operate this machine according to the normal spec. We don't have the time for the clearance or the personal. Perhaps if we had a week, a killing security clearance, an army of lab techs, but we don't. I'm afraid that we will have to improvise. You're talking about improvising with his brain. We don't have a choice, my friend. We either roll the dice with an emergency disconnect or we leave him here. The console awaits your input. Search for a way to perform an emergency disconnect from the system. Eventually, you turn up an alternative method, level deeply unsafe, for removing a subject from the machine maker procedure. In order to perform an emergency disconnect, you're going to have to reprogram his memory manually using engram stored in the assist machine's memory. Doing this through the terminal would take you hours. You'll need a decker to guide the process in real time. 
If you fail to restore Raymond's memories properly, he will suffer catastrophic neurological kill damage. And the best case scenario, he will be left a uh, vegetable. In the worst case scenario, he will die. Enable the terminal jackpot and initiate an emergency override. Here goes nothing. And let's check in. Bluster. Degrade. Dual routine boost. Erosion. And heal. Confirm. So. I messed up, so let's go here. Only two hits, not good. A little bit better. turns to disconnect him. Let's go fast. Okay, uh, hack the block Ricey. Let's start. Consoles display blossoms to life at your approach. Thank Mechanical Services Special Project Division, Control Hub, Readme General Practices, Open Host Engram Stream, Log Off. Open the Readme General Practice file. Scanning the files, you find a list of procedures that governs the safe removal of subjects from the machine. According to the file, all four memory engrams need to be locked into the control hub in chronological order. Then, and only then, can a subject be ejected without suffering permanent neurological damage. Open the host engram stream file. Okay, I don't know how. Disconnect. Okay, so let's get here. So, first thing first. Nice. 
towards do it this way. Perfect. All three of them. Let's try to f hit that conjurer as well. Time. Unfortunately, not. Yay. Okay, Memo. Time to. Time to move. Thankfully it's missed. And one twenty-five. Let's move here and hit this guy. That was not the best idea. Nice one. Hit this one. And let's hit him. Six damage. Nice, so let's open this one. First one is... First one is... Dawn, Dusk, Night, Noon. Okay. It's now open. A flood of engrams streaks by. You hack into the flow, capturing a small clump of tight, distinct memories, tiny and round. One of them glows, uh, set apart from the others by its intensity. 
the Verdant Aroma of a Still Pond on a day late summer day. Its reflective surface is disturbed by a single tear. As the ripples glide from its impact point, a young boy's face is reflected in the water grief, fracturing its innocence. He traces the character for father in the water with uh, his finger. Okay, the first one is uh, done. Eight turns to get all other engrams. Let's go this way. And this way. Nice. Okay. Uh, the big guy is still not down. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Heal up. Let's move here. And one more is down. Wow. 
125. Uh oh. You gotta be kidding me. What the hell? Okay, let's revive him. Too bad, too bad. Nice shots. Okay, I, I think I completely destroyed the one item which I had. here yes the mage is down nice Luster degrade dual routine erosion and medic. Let's go against the Enforcer. That was close. Let's go to the second one again. Shit, parts 12. Stupid idiot.
make him faster and to make him better. One more down. Not good enough. Yay. One more hit and one more. Block rising. That was easier, but I have only four turns remaining. It's going pretty fast. A cascade of engrams turns as it streams past. You hack into the current, capturing a thick knot of distinct memories. Firm and full, one of them seems to move from within, attracting your attention. The youth center gymnasium is thick with the scent of adolescent perspiration marked by a steady diet of cheap soy protein. His authority as youth director is challenged, and although the boy couldn't be more than twelve, they stand eye to eye. The boy looks at his graying hair, sneers. You better know Kung Fu, mister, the pudgy boy says. I know a lot of things, he replies. Are you smart enough to learn them? Another memory engram. Mm, you gotta be kidding me. The third one. Let's go here and let's hit it this way. Only one? No, both of them. Ah. Oh.
Three turns. Not good, not good. I will probably have to start this again. The third one is... Night. Oh, why have I hacked the second one when I have the password as well? A tide of engrams rolls past. You hack into a flow capturing a shard of distinct memories, crystalline and latticed. One of them shimmers whitely, standing apart by its radiance. The scream wakes him like an old friend, as it does every night. He pulls the sheets away from his damp body and stumbles to the bedroom. His heart pounding rinses his face and the back of his neck with cool water. He looks up from the basin into the mirror and finds an old man staring back at him. A terrified old man. Okay. Oh, three engrams. Runner and runner. And the fourth one. This, this, and he should be down by the next turn. Let's get here.
Hmm. That's not nice. You're gonna be kidding. So we have now. Enter password noon. Examine it. A current of engrams twists and churns as it flows past. You hug into the current, capturing a cluster of distinct memories. Lumpy and fat, one of them homes loudly, calling your attention. Anticipation. The hall is long and ends at his door. He traverses the distance slowly, knowing that he is being observed by his new underlings. And there it is, newly installed, shining like a mirror on a door made from a real world. The brass nameplate. Edward Thank, vice president of special projects. Pride swells within him. Okay, let's run. And not get caught to him because I have one last turn. Open the host engram stream file. Select engram for slot one. Okay. First down. Uh, lock the engram memory engram Raymond as a young boy. Slot one locked. Slot two. Lock uh, engram as a young executive. Slot two locked. Number three. Lock uh, engram Raymond as a middle-aged man. Slot 3 locked, and the fourth one, lock Engram, Raymond as an old man. Host memory Engram array. Reintegrate host. 
Post reintegration complete. Disconnecting. Checking engrams. Engram integration success. Host reintegration process initiated. Let's release Raymond. Objective complete. Remove Raymond from the machine in time and use a decker to free Raymond. The clean room echoes with your footsteps as you approach the capsule containing the assist surgical couch. Through the window you can see that the last eight years have not been kind to Raymond Black. The trauma of the last few days is readily apparent. The past pallor on his skin and the wide growth of stubble on his chin make him appear far older than 65. He lies unconscious, his chest barely moving, his eyes sunken and his jaw slack. Carefully applied ghost dressing on his balding head surrounds a gleaming metal port, a data jack, a thin bundle of wires run from the jack to the device mounted to the capsule wall. Oh my god, although his voice is small, it echoes loudly through the clean room. Knock on the capsule. The old man's breathing change and you see movement under his eyelids. He slowly becomes conscious. Raymond opens his eyes, blinks a few times at you through the capsule window. F-H-U-K. He must be disoriented from the assist programming. It appears that we got to him just in time. There is no time for discussion, Memo. We must move. Let's get back to the boat. I have questions and I want some answers. Disconnecting Raymond from the assist device proves to be straightforward, as does getting him out of the capsule and onto the clean room floor. It feels as if he barely waits anything at all. Although his uh, breathing is a bit erratic, Raymond seems steady enough on his feet. Lead on, FH. I'll be right behind you. Objective Eckert. Escape with Raymond. Let's save it and run. The guards are talking among themselves exactly excitedly as you arrive, then they are instantly alert, exchanging nervous glances. Their leader speaks up, addressing them with all the confidence he can muster. We are the last line of defense and we are going to hold them here, do you understand? The guards are clearly frightened but appear ready to follow his orders. You can see his confidence rising at their reactions. Stop where you are, runner. Drop your weapon or we'll open fire. We just took down your whole security network and cut our way through your best squad. You sure this is how you want to play this? The guard looks to his coworker and nods to you. Nope, this is definitely not how we want to play this. Let's just pretend that we never saw each other, okay? He takes his finger off the trigger and begins lowering his weapon. Smart play. We never saw each other. The guards lower their weapons. Okay, let's exit. And that was it for today's episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition by Old Man Memo. And today we have, as we have saved our father, foster father actually, from the assist in the last moment possible. And we are going back with him to the MTR home. So. If you enjoyed it as much as I did, 
feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.